Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of CNC Productions. And today we are doing an unboxing video for the Past Happened Trading Card Game. Now, you probably haven't heard of these cards. If not, then you're missing out because this is a really, really cool um, indie card game uh, made by Brooke um, from Etsy. You can, this is where you buy these cards. Um, I'll be leaving her link for her Etsy page and her DeviantArt and Facebook pages in the description. So if you would like to buy these cards, then all I gotta do is go ahead and look on those pages. And um, they're actually really inexpensive, which is pretty nice because these are all hand-drawn um, cards. Very well done. And we're about to get into these. Um, now, as you noticed, I have three of the Meso series, which is like the dinosaurs, Seno series, which is Ice Age creatures, and only two aquatics, because I forgot to order the third one. So, we're going to have one less aquatic than we are the others, but that's my own fault, so sorry for any aquatic creature lovers out there. Okay, um, now there are three starter decks. I'm going to open the starter decks first. I am first going to do the dinosaur decks, so to open this up. And let's see what we've got in here. It's kind of thick. Oh boy. <laughs> let's see. Oh, is this the rule book? Oh, wow. This is the rule book. Yeah, see, past happened, prehistoric trading card game. Also, this card game there are over 700 cards, which is awesome because it's not like a little dinky 100 cards and that's it. This features over 700 creatures, all of them extinct. And here's the rule book. Um, pretty cool. Might need your reading glasses a bit, but hey, there's really no other way to fit those into those decks. All right, now for the cards themselves. This is the first starter deck. Let's see what we got. Afrovenator, awesome. Uh, the little there's a stars, which I guess are health points. What I like to think of it as is one star is common, two stars uncommon, three is rare, four is epic, and five is legendary. Um, cool. Uh, the uh, name of the creature, the species, the card identifier, what group they belong to, the uh, card class. A uh, very cool hand drawn illustration. Uh, Card effects, the class, and the statistics, some fun facts, diets, and size. So pretty much everything you could possibly want and or fit on a single card is on here, which is awesome. You know, they're they're good for you know the educational value and an awesome card game too. Uh, obviously I'm not gonna be reading the card effects for every single one, but basically here's an example. Uh, Afro attack. It does an extra 10 flat damage when attacking a sauropodomorph. Which so there's Afro Venator, Omega Raptor, which is a freaking legendary. Awesome. Poyangasaurus. It's pretty cool. Platyosaurus, which is a common. I don't remember seeing Platyosaurus on the Deviant Dark page either. I might have to check that out again. Monolophosaurus. Awesome. Ichthyovenator. I did want this one. That's awesome. Tyranodon, which is only a rare. Or, if it broke if you're watching, uh, this is just what I <laughs> this is just what I put him up. Uh Mementisaurus, which is a pretty cool illustration. Another Platyosaurus, so yeah, there is a double. I'm going to be putting all the doubles over there. But I, I don't mind. Euoplocephalus, and that illustration looks really, really cool. Uh-huh. Okay, and those are the dinosaurs. There's also item cards, and this is a medicine, which improves your health, I'm assuming what that is. I haven't read the rule book yet, so I'm going to figure out how to card play this card game soon. Red meat, which is another item. Another medicine. The, the doubles for that probably aren't going to be too bad. I'm just going to put all their doubles here, because if I end up storing these, I'll just want to have to have the unique ones. Amber piece, pretty cool. 
a plume feather. Oh, tricolor fossil rock. Cool, I did I did want this one. That's kind of cool, because if you wanted to do like a fossil fighters, like that kind of video game, if you wanted to do that, you can with these cards, which is pretty cool. A star fossil rock. A spiky fossil rock, that's cool. Spread. And then there's these locale cards, and I'm not exactly sure how they work. Uh, they have the native cards. This is obviously like a Jurassic, like a meadow in North America. Stegosaur, Brachiosaur, Dryosaur. So hopefully we'll get some more of those cards. But yeah, that was a single one of the starter decks for the Jurassic. And I gotta say, and that only cost me four bucks. All that stuff. That's, that's, that's pretty awesome. That's better than any kind of Pokemon that you can get. Great deal. Next, we're going to get into this booster pack. Now, there's a difference here because there's these booster packs and then there's these critter packs. The critter packs only come with animals and the booster packs include other locales or fossil rocks and item cards. I didn't know that whenever I bought these uh, because I probably would have bought a booster and a critter for both um, or for all of the series, but I only have two boosters for the Meso series. So we're just gonna open this one up. All right, let's see what we got in this pack. Another Fern Meadows, so that is a double, unfortunately, but hey, what you gonna do? That's still pretty cool. Uh, Sinoceropteryx, pretty awesome. This is a rare Super Medicine, cool. Uh, antidote Fossil Rock. As long as this rock is attached to animal cards. Oh, it's immune to all toxins, that's gotta be helpful. Crystallized Sand. That's interesting. Ankylosaurus, good. Got another legendary. Medicine, another medicine. Let's go stick it over here. Chasmosaurus. Nice, I like the drawings. The drawings are really cool. Uh, red fossil rock, nice. I did want more fossil rocks. Another locale. Windswept Oasis, oh cool, that's a Gobi Desert. Nice. I can go there. Uh, Mononychus. And Sukumimus, good, I wanted that one too. I like the Spinosaurus. Alrighty. And yeah, she has um, every single one of the cards on her DeviantArt page. Uh, like I said, I left the link in the description, so if you wanted to go take a look at these cards, you can take a look at all of them there. Alright, now for the next booster. Let's see, first up is the Shunosaurus, which is good because I wanted that one. I love Shunosaurus, one of my favorite dinosaurs. Flood Banks, that's a new locale. Oh, uh, T-Rex, Triceratops, and Kylo pack and stuff. So basically, like, uh, the Hell Creek. And we uh, Shuffle Nut. Not exactly sure, not exactly sure what that is. Uh, when used, you probably just want to shuffle the first top five cards of their deck. Oh, yeah, classic shuffle card. Oh, uh, Torvasaurus. Why don't I recognize that one? That one looks cool. I like that one. Another Pteranodon, so that's another double. Toxic Barb. Wow, okay then. Uh, Pterodostro, cool. Should on uncommon. Northern Territory. Oh, that's more, that's, yeah, that's like a Canadian type of area. That's cool. Microraptor, nice. Uh, Pyroraptor. Uh, seafood, that's cool. And a magenta fossil rock. Alrighty, and that was it for the Meso series. So that's all the dinosaurs. Uh, like I said, I probably would have bought a booster and a critter, but that was before I really understood. So yeah, if I get any more of these, I'll probably do some more unboxings. Hopefully we'll get some new cards. Um, but yeah, I'm going to move on to the aquatics now. Unfortunately, I only have two packs instead of three, but that's my own fault. All right, we're going to do the uh, starter pack first. Another rule book. So I'll just set that aside. All right, and let's see what we got in the Aqua series. Orthocanthus, nice. I literally just bought that one. The Marine Sloth. The last son. I've never even heard of this. The last Sockness. The last Sockness, Nate Hands. Okay, I've never heard of that. Uh, the Hybotus, which is a rare. And it has nothing to do with card rarity. That's just the name I gave it. Lord help me. Uh, <laughs> this thing, which I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce, 
It looks like a kind of a shrimp, an Amalacaris kind of creature. That's cool. Ambulocetus. That's nice. Uh, Lepidotes. That's cool. I did like this um, particular creature. The fossils for the Lepidotes are beautiful. Dunkleosteus. Awesome. Everybody loves Dunkleosteus. Terrigotus. I wanted to see Scorpion too. That's good. Hallucigenia. That crazy looking thing. This is a common. Dolly Corin Cops. The Dolly. Uh, Mega Medicine. I thought this was. Oh, this is the starter pack. My bad. I thought this was the critter pack. No, this is the starter pack. Alright, Mega Medicine. Cool. Another Amber Piece. Red Meat. Another Red Meat Piece. Midnight Pearl. Oh, that's cool. Geo Dust. That's also cool. Star Fossil Rock. I think that's double, but I'm not exactly sure. I'll just leave that there. Trace Fossil Rock. And a Plain Fossil Rock. And a Teal Fossil Rock. And each Fossil Rock gives a different card ability. What's this? The Whalebone Beach. Basilosaur, Mirotherium, Ototus. Wow, Duradon. That's cool. Another little cow. Alright, that was the starter pack for the Aqua Series. Which I'm going to put on top of my stack. Now for the Critter Pack. And the Critter Pack will only include um, creatures. So there are no... Nothing else but animals in here. The Cretoxy Rhina. Always gotta go good with sharks. As long as I get a Mosasaurus or a Megalodon Tylosaurus, that's that's close enough. I'll be happy with that. Wow, Semirostrum. That's a crazy looking thing. Aha, Mosasaurus, perfect. Awesome, didn't want the Mosasaurus. Awesome, I'm happy, you know. Uh, Seca, Seca Bambaspis. That thing, one of the weirdest, I'm telling you what, those jawless fish were, were crazy looking. Tanny Strophius, I like that one. Osef, Osefech, okay, that, this, this turtle thing. <laughs> Tanny Wasaurus, Antarcticus, that's cool, another Mosasaur. What in the world is that thing? All right, Cyrocrinus, a legendary too, that's cool. Hesperonis. Uh, Acrofoca, which is a seal. And Picky, Picaya. That's cool. So, unfortunately, that's all the aquatics that I have. Because I forgot the second boost, or the third boost pack. So that's my own stupidity. But we got three you know, packs. So three Ice Age creature packs to go through. All right, starting with the starter pack. All right, another rule book. Just set that aside. Let's see what we got. Antelodon, awesome. That was another one that I really wanted from the glacier. Antelodon, awesome. American Cheetah, that's also very cool. Ornamegalonyx, Giant Owl. I had wanted that one too. Leptectidium, when walking with beasts. Platy Belladon. And now with here, obviously, it's the mammoth that I would like. Teratornis. That's cool. Smilodon. Nice. Another classic. Glyptodon. Cool. Hopefully, I'll get a DD Curious. Toxodon. That's also very cool. Uh, Purga Purgatorius. They are saying all of these names right. Shark Tooth. Cool. Energy Fruit. Doubles when they frost cars class bonus. Oh, cool. I can't wait to look through all these cards and finally be able to play it. Opal Stone. Another Energy Fruit, so I'll just set that aside. And another Energy Fruit. Ah, come on. And another... <laughs> it's at that time, anyway. Spiral Fossil Rock, cool. Another Plain Fossil Rock. And a White Fossil Rock. Mammoth Valley, very cool. Yeah, I was getting to that point where... I'm getting a lot of the item cards, so I'm bound to get a couple of repeats. I'm going to keep them anyway, I'm just setting them aside just because I know that they're repeats. Alrighty then, that was the starter pack. Now to go through, and they are both critter packs. Like I said, um, I mean, it actually, it's okay, because we're getting more item cards and we all want to see just the animals anyway, so. <laughs> Alright, first critter pack. 
All right, to start out with is the Waimanu, which is an epic. That is awesome. Giganto fists, awesome. Got a giant snake, awesome. Hopefully, I'll get a Titanic boa. Another Entelodon. All right, that's fine. Colombian mammoth. Nice. Giant another mammoth. Dwarf Cron Sloth, that's cool. Hopefully get a Megatherium in here. Mirotherium, that's good. I, that's one of my favorites for whatever reason. Hyena Dawn, another one of my favorites. Maolania, very cool. Uh, Megalibuglib... Mega Libuglia. The Echidna, basically. Myasis, another mammal, very cool. Ah, uh, the Dodo Bird, gotta love the Dodo Bird. <laughs> And the Barbiturex, which I'm guessing is a giant iguana. Six feet long. Yeah, that's a big iguana. Awesome. So that was the first critter pack. If I can get a mammoth, I will be very, very happy. So hopefully the mammoth in this next critter pack. Hemiscyon is the first one. That's cool. I like this one. I also like the fact of, and I'm sorry to like interrupt this. Uh, you know what? I'll just go through my thought to the end of the unboxing. All right. Passenger Pigeon, which is a nice addition. I like that it's not just like the classic Ice Age creatures. You know, because this, this thing well, died very recently, actually. It was in the last 250 years. Giant Beaver. Nice. Castoroides. The Thylacine. That's cool. I like that one. Like another classic. Another Gigantophis. All right. That's fine. Megaloceros. Good. Another classic in there. Pygmy Elephant. Paleoloxodon. The Metaminodon. I have no idea what that is. Is it a Panthodon? I have no idea. Uh, Echorus. That's look. That's a cool looking drawing. The Pezo Siren. Burpezo Siren. Do not crucify me. Another Gigantophis. Dang with, <laughs> dang with giant snakes. The Pelagornis. That's cool. I still have no idea why they added a dog. <laughs> Alrighty, and guys, that was the unboxing for the past happened, or at least all the cards. And this big stack that would probably cost you like a hundred and some dollars with any other classic TGC or TCG, like a Pokemon or Magic the Gathering, that cost me like 35 bucks. That is over a hundred cards, incredibly well done. I mean, and actually like physically rare because she actually has to make each order. So if you got these, they're pretty dang rare, which is even more awesome. Um, like I said, the only place that you can find these cards is on her Etsy shop. And I will of course leave the link in the description if you would like to get these cards for yourself. I for one, all I gotta say is this. I think that every single paleontology nerd like, like me, that loves card games would love this card game. I love collecting and playing different card games, and I'm also a dinosaur nut. And really, there are no dinosaur trading card games aside from Dinosaur King, and that's not really like a, a real paleontology kind of card game. Like this, you got over 700 different species of creatures, and like each of them of beautiful, colorful artwork, they have the facts in the bottom. You know, you have pretty much every single extinct creature you could possibly think of in these card games. And she hasn't even released her Paleo series yet, which is other like miscellaneous reptiles and amphibians. But I mean, this is the kind of paleontology card game I have wanted for years. And I've really only been able to like satisfy myself with Dinosaur King. And now we got this. And the fact that she hasn't set up a Kickstarter yet for this honestly surprises me because I think that this has some amazing potential. It's it's a great card game, like fully fully formed. You know, as, as far as I have to say, I am incredibly impressed with these. Like they're 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 great, honestly. I give this a solid five stars. Great product. If you haven't bought these yet, then buy them. They are. This is the kind of card game I've wanted to come around for, for years. Can't wait to get this started on playing with this. Um, so, yeah. That's, <laughs> I think that's all that really needs to be said. So, yeah. 
Um, like I said before, I will leave all of her um, information for her Etsy, Facebook, um, DeviantArt in the description of this video. So if you want to go buy these cards, then uh, why don't you? Uh, first of all, I mean, why wouldn't you want these cards? And second of all, just 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 you know, give her a little bit of support because you know this is a kind of this is an indie game that um, I believe has a lot of great potential. This is a really great card game. <laughs> I don't really know what else needs to be said. So yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, then leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.